Go ahead, go deep. I got it, I got it. All right, well, that was a good catch right there. Well, I mean, you kind of popped that one up real easy for me. All right, well, enough about baseball. What do you have for us today, Ed? So today we're gonna to talk about Istio. Istio, what's that? So Istio provides an abstracted view over your service mesh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what a service mesh is. Can you explain it to me? Yeah, a service mesh describes your microservices and the applications and their interactions. Istio helps you with the traffic management, observability, and security. Istio helps in decoupling your application code from the platform and mm -hmm. policy controls. Mm -hmm. If you're the GM and Kubernetes is the manager, Istio is your hitting, pitching, and bench coaches. All right. Great. So how do I set it up? Well, let's jump right in. Let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to just check to make sure that our cluster is up and running. And now we are going to create the cluster admin roles so that we can create RBAC rules for Istio. Now we're going to download the latest release of Istio and it'll take a little bit of time for us to get here and go download it. Now that it's downloaded, we're going to uncompress it and we're going to enter the folder. So now that we've entered the folder, we're going to set our path so that we can run the Istio control. And now we're going to deploy Istio core components using the pre-created YAML files. So this is running through. So this YAML file creates the Istio system namespace, the RBAC permissions, and installs all the components for us. So now once we have that set up and running, we're going to configure and set up the uh, system for automatic sidecar injection. We'll set up the config mapping and then create a cert key pair for the webhooks. Once this is done, we will set the CA bundle in the webhook install YAML file, and we will install the injector webhook. So th this will give us the ability here, whenever we deploy an application with a uh, labeled namespace, we can actually have the Istio sidecar automatically injected. Just take a little bit more here to install the last little bit. So now we're going to just go real quick and just apply this file that we've been updating to push it all and to have this running perfectly. So now that that's all good, what we're going to do here is we're going to label our default namespace so that any application that we deploy in our default namespace will get an Istio sidecar injected. So now we're just going to check to make sure that that label's been added. And now we can see here our label's been added to the system. And now here, let's let's just go through and let's check out a sample application, a simple Hello World application that responds back with what version it's running. So let's go here and let's just very simply apply and deploy this application to verify that the injection is working. So now what we'll do is here, we're gonna run the kubectl get pods and just check the status to make sure that the pods are up and running and they are up and running. Wow, that was really easy. You must have hit that one out of the park. Yeah, setting up Istio on GKE is easier than stealing a base. I don't know baseball, but please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. And if you're working on something cool and want to reach out to us, click on the description below.